Hi guys, it's Carol. How are you? <coughs> uh, I'm just choking on something. I'm fine. Um, one of you asked me, well actually several of you have asked about my apron pattern. What I did is I went to Pinterest and just did a search for free, simple apron patterns. I'll put some pictures in right here. I don't remember which post I actually used to get my measurements, but just click on any of these and they will give you the measurements you need. And I didn't print them off. I just took a piece of Christmas paper, folded it in half, and and marked the measurements and cut it out. Made my own pattern. And then I took Christmas wrapping paper because it's thin and cheap. And I made my pattern. Uh, you see, I've pinned it over and over and over so many times making pattern. It's kind of torn up now. But anyway, I just made my own pattern. I made the pattern for the straps and everything with Christmas paper. You know, $1.25 from Dollar Tree. And on Pinterest, those free apron sites give you different measurements for toddler, child, small, medium, large. If You just have to look till you find what you want. But anyway, that's where I got the pattern. I just did it like that. Uh, one of you asked if they could buy an apron of the one of them. Hobby Lobby is out of Christmas print now. I, even if I had time to make one and sell it, I would be, I'm such a beginner sewer, I would feel awful selling you an apron because I'm not a professional and they're out of Christmas fabric now. Uh, postage is so high. If you're in the United States, it costs, uh, but probably between five and seven dollars to mail it to you. That's awful. Postage is horrible. So no, I don't want to sell them because I would feel bad because I'm not a professional. But anyway, you can make one by going to Pinterest and finding those free apron patterns. It gives you the measurements and you, I just, you know, I did it when you cut out your, oh, I just ripped my apron pattern. <laughs> um, you want to do your fabric on the fold, you know, you don't want the full apron when you make your pattern. You want half of it because you're going to put it on the fold of your fabric. You know how, if you sew, you know how you do patterns. So you're just doing half of an apron. Um, I could measure this for you, but I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, but anyway, just go to Pinterest. It'll give you the measurements. You can draw your own and cut it out of Christmas paper and have the same thing I did. Uh, oh, I've already blown no spin December, but it's only one day. You know, tomorrow's another day. I'll show you that here. Okay, here's my calendar. A red check, no spend. Red check, no spend. Red check, no spend. A green X. Yeah, I spent money today. And I'll tell you why I I spent money today. Oh, my nose itches. If I turn this camera on, oh, my nose itches. I don't know what's going on in my kitchen. I had a Himalayan salt shaker that I bought from Walmart. It was, I just bought the pink Himalayan salt and it came in a little shaker with a, a twisty thing that it ground the salt. That was sitting on the counter not real close to the edge. Um, this Himalayan salt shaker was on the kitchen counter. It, this was a, a, a couple of weeks ago because my grandkids were here. After lunch, I have to have a nap. Sometimes when my grandkids wear me out, it gets to the point where I just say, I, if I don't close my eyes, lay down and close my eyes, I'm going to fall asleep standing up. So I'm taking my nap now. And so... I had gone to sleep on the couch and Casey and my grandkids went up to her apartment 
When they left, that Himalayan salt shaker was on the counter where we had cooked lunch and one of them did something with it. They came back while I was asleep to get something and discovered that Himalayan salt shaker was made out of glass, busted in the middle of my living um, living in the middle of my kitchen floor. I have a ceramic tile. Anything that falls off a counter and is glass or ceramic or something is going to shatter. Um, shattered all over the kitchen floor. I was sound asleep. Never heard a thing. And Toby's not tall enough to reach things on the counter. He's 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 not a big dog. And Molly definitely can't. Anyway. They cleaned that up for me, and I just slept through it. <laughs> the other day, I walked into the kitchen. I picked up the dog bowls, and I put them on a counter opposite of where my salt shakers sit. And I have my back. I, my, my salt and pepper shakers sit on the side next to my stove. Up directly opposite from my stove is the sink and the dishwasher and I had set the dog dishes on the counter above the dishwasher so I was facing away from the stove when all of a sudden my glass salt shaker that has regular table salt in it just dived off the counter and entered in the <laughs> landed on the ceramic tile and busted I told Casey maybe we have a ghost that doesn't like salt <laughs> maybe the ghost is saying Y'all need to be on a low-salt diet. <laughs> I don't know. That was bizarre. <laughs> so today uh, we were picking up an order of groceries, and we get our groceries most often from a neighborhood Walmart market. It's not like a super cinch, just groceries. And then in their parking lot, they have a little convenience store, gas station, you know. So we were going to get gas there. It was two fifty three a gallon today, and so uh, got gas. And right across from there is the new Dollar Tree. I told Casey I need to run in that Dollar Tree and get a salt shaker. So I went in Dollar Tree, and I ended up picking up a few more things, and I got some, another little something for Rhett and Taylor's Christmas today. And then since I'd already blown it with my no spin <laughs> day. Why stop now? <laughs> I told her, let's go to that toot and totem because it's happy hour. I can get a Dr. Pepper for a dollar, a 44 ounce of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> like I need 44 ounces of high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I spent money on today. But I got me a salt shaker. <laughs> I'll try to keep it from uh, <laughs> diving off the counter. I don't know how. I don't know how those two salt shakers ended up in my floor. Because if I lay down to take a nap, that my dogs are under the blanket with me. Uh, Casey and Andy leave. I was the only one here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how those two salt shakers decided to dive off and shatter. Um, anyway, I want to give two shout outs. The first one is a lady named Shirley that I really enjoy her videos. She does all kinds of things. Um, she, she just does all kinds of things. If my mind would work, my mind still is not connecting. I could tell you what things she does. But anyway, I watched a video of hers last night and she was showing a crochet kit she got from Amazon. Well, the funny thing was... Casey had not gotten Taylor's Christmas present yet. It drives me crazy because for her to wait to, you know, mid-December to buy anything for Christmas. Anyway, so I was trying to help her give her suggestions. And I looked on Amazon. I searched their holiday deals. And I limited it to $25 or less. Anyway, this crochet kit came up. And Taylor has three grandmas. Her maternal grandma has uh, been teaching her how to crochet. She can do a chain really nice. And I thought, oh, well, Taylor might really like that. She didn't get it. Taylor, if you're watching, you didn't get this kit. But it, if, but it was a nice one if you want to buy it. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, Shirley was showing this exact same crochet kit that I had been looking at. I thought that was funny. I mean, the exact same one. Um, she was just showing what was in this crochet, sh crochet kit. Sometimes she does um, hauls. Sometimes she, she probably cooks. I don't remember. She does... Her channel's like mine. Just... It's a variety. She has under 600 subs. I thought maybe we could be a little bit like Short Yvonne and Brendan Kane and help her get up over a thousand. You know, we can't, I don't have enough subs to get her a whole lot, but maybe y'all could go over and check out Shirley's channel. Here she is. Her channel name is Shirley's Real Life. Notice how she spells Shirley. It's S-H-E-R-L-E-Y. Real sweet lady. And then I want to give a shout out to another lady that I just found. Um, I was looking at my analytics. Um, if you post videos on YouTube, you download this app called YouTube Studio, and you can see all kinds of information about your channel. Do you like stats? I love stats. I'll stick some of my stats in here and show you, just in case you're curious. Oh, that video out in... Pinal County. I love Deputy Sloop. <laughs> I just love watching him. But anyway, it says I made 20 videos and three posts. If I had 20 videos, shouldn't I have 20 posts? I don't understand that. Oh, goodness. I had 1,862 likes. Thank you for every single one of those. I'd love to see likes. For Christmas, I want every single person that watches to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, please, just once. I would like to have 100% likes. Anyway, 28 people shared videos. I'm amazed. I don't know when you share a video. I, I don't know when, when you do that. Then I had 847 comments. Thank you. I love your comments. I really do. That's why it takes me so long to respond. I had 847, but I want to have 2,000 comments next time. Okay, watch time from subscribers. 64% of people who watched were subscribed. 35 were not subscribed. Well, hey, you guys, you 35.8%, click that button and subscribe, please. Here it says most viewers were new to your channel. Only 28% were returning. Uh, where's the other 72% of my subs? Come back and watch. <laughs> People watched your channel 9,300 times. November looks kind of short there. But anyway, one section is what channels do your subs watch? And it'll list 10 or so. And there was this one channel, Frozen Pennies. And I'd never heard of that before, so I clicked on it. And it's a lady whose channel is about living on a low income and be, living frugal, saving money. Well, I figure all of us can use any any help we can get on that subject. So I'm going to give her a shout out. She's got a big channel. She doesn't need a shout out, shout out from me. But I thought you guys might... I find her information useful. There's Toby, checking out my plants. Um, anyway, here she is. Frozen Pennies is the name of her channel. She has almost 29,000 subs. Um, I wish all 29,000 of her subs would come over and visit me. But anyway, we can learn a bunch from her. I just betcha. I think she's going to be a pretty good channel to watch and help us out that live on low incomes. I guess that's it for today. I didn't intend to make a video. Toby and I are fixing to go to bed. He's probably here to say, Mama, I thought we were going to bed. <laughs> uh, I thought Casey was going to do a video for me. She has to make cookies for a party at church on Wednesday night for kids. And so she was going to make uh, cookies with M&Ms in them. So I asked her, would she take a picture step by step of how she made those cookies and that could be my video for today. But she thinks she's getting another sinus infection and she ended up not making cookies. She'll have to do them tomorrow. But So maybe...
tomorrow we'll have one. And then the, my grandkids are coming home. They came home today, in fact. Their mom went up and got them from this other town. Um, hopefully, Wednesday, they'll come stay with me. And then they'll go to that children's party at church and be here Thursday until their mom gets off work. Hopefully, they'll be here, here Wednesday and we will decorate my bedroom. I, I, I'm ready to have my bedroom done, but I didn't want to do it by myself. I, I, it makes me feel lonelier to do things that, like that by myself. And my other daughter, Becky, told me she would come over about three different days. And then something would happen and she couldn't come over. And I understand that. She works full time. I remember when I worked full time. You don't have your days off go by quick. And I just haven't wanted to decorate it by myself. I want somebody else to do it. And then I bought this oval sign from Hobby Lobby. And I was going to write, it's white. And I was going to write, and to all a good night on it in red. And then I got to thinking, and no, Carol, my, I have weird thoughts. You'll look up at that and you'll think that's written in blood. You can't do that. You'll never go to sleep in that room. <laughs> I have weird thoughts. I have weird dreams. I've had the same. Do you ever have the same dream over and over and over? <sighs> over the weekend, I had the same bizarre. It wasn't scary. It was just bizarre and mixed up and unpleasant and bizarre dream. And I had that dream over and over. When I took a nap, I'd have that same dream. At night, I'd have that same dream, didn't I? And I, I, I dream often, and I must get agitated or talk in my sleep or something, because there are nights that the dogs wake me up over and over and over again. And I was telling Casey and Taylor, I, bet, I don't know why the dogs keep waking me up at night. Well, Taylor spends the, the night here an awful lot, you know. And she says, that's because you, when you're dreaming, you talk in your sleep or you make noises or you, you're moving all around or something. So we figure Toby and Molly are trying to wake me up and get me out of that dream. Okay, I'm going to go now. Yes, you're a good boy. We're going to go to bed, are we? All right, I hope you guys are doing good and we'll see you in a video tomorrow. All right, see you in the morning. <laughs> Bye.